Hi folks, hope you've had a lovely Christmas. Unfortunately, ours didn't go fully to plan. Um, I'm not well at the moment. It started to come on on um, Christmas Eve, uh, Christmas Day morning, about half past twelve, and I've got to go to the hospital at quarter to one this afternoon. Is it quarter to one or quarter to two, Sharon? One forty-five. One forty-five this afternoon. Well, we've had three things happen over the last few days. Sharon's brother come off his scooter and uh, dislocated his shoulder. That was the day before Christmas Eve. And Sharon had a phone call. Was it on Boxing Day? Uh, Christmas Eve, Eve. Well, I got a text Christmas Eve saying from the bank about fraud, but I didn't do nothing. I showed it to Martin. I had two, one had the last four digits and my bank number. And that sort of thought, oh, hang on, this could be genuine. But then there was a mobile number and I thought, no, this is a scam. So Mike said, leave it. And I thought, it just stayed on my mind because it had the four last digits of my card number. I rang the bank and it was fraud. Somebody in America was trying to spend some money from my account. So my, my account's now blocked and I'm waiting for my new card. Yeah, and as I say, Christmas morning, about half past 12, I went to go to the toilet. I've noticed that the flow had been getting slower and slower over the last few days. And the urine flow, that is. And Christmas Eve, uh, Christmas morning, uh, about half past 12, one o'clock, I got up to go to the toilet. And I was shivering, absolutely shivering. And I've had a bit of pain, like burning sensation when I did go. And it's it was sort of very, very, very slow. And all through that night, I've had a temperature and I've been hot and cold. I've been taking paracetamol and that, and I feel totally washed out. So that Christmas dinner that Sharon cooks, I never had any of it. I missed it all. I was I was just totally washed out. And I thought, well, there's no good me phoning anyone on Christmas Day. So I just carried on taking the paracetamol every four hours. And that's when, as soon as the paracetamol wore off, then I started to get the shivers and shakes again and get hot. So that paracetamol was keeping my temperature down, but I felt, I say, very washed out. And last night again, I was awake till about four o'clock in the morning, and throughout the night, very, very tiny little dribbles, that's all I've been able to do. So I phoned 111 this morning, eight o'clock. They've just got back to me now, and they've said, um, uh, they booked an appointment for me to go to the hospital at uh, quarter to two this afternoon, so, um, yeah, it's not been the fantastic Christmas which I wanted anyway, although everyone here did have a good time showing, didn't they? Yes, they did, yeah. And it was a lovely day, but I, so I was just totally out of it. I didn't virtually eat yesterday at all, and I definitely couldn't face that wonderful Christmas dinner that Sharon cooked. Anyway, I'll give you a, uh, an update, folks, once I've um, gone to the uh, surgery, at uh, the hospital, rather. I've got to take a urine sample, but this happened to me five years ago, where I couldn't wee, and... Apparently I had a very bad infection and I had to have intravenous drips and I was in hospital for about three or four days. So I don't know where it's come from. It's come out of nowhere, but I've got to get it sorted because, um, and again, being holiday time, it's uh, just one of those things, isn't it? You can't just go down to a doctor's surgery anymore. So 111 have come through. You wouldn't have gone to a surgery on Boxing Day anyway. Cause it's no, shocking. but you've gone on the days where a doctor comes out now, hasn't it? I, I tell you what, the NHS are working because I'm going to go and give blood this morning. Yeah. Right, so keep you updated, folks, to see uh, uh, what happens a bit later on. So I'll speak to you a bit later. Hi, folks. Well, what a Christmas. Today's the uh, 27th, the day after Boxing Day. And as I told you, I went up the hospital and... Uh, I went into the UTC Urgent Treatment Centre and um, they checked me stats and all that. They said me, me uh, I was tachycardic, 115 pulse that was. Um, my blood pressure was very high, it was 175 over 105. Uh, I took a my urine sample, they said there was glucose in that. and rapid breathing I said there's obviously something going on and they give me a scan of my stomach and uh, I said there's obviously something going on you're obviously unwell so we're gonna have to take you over to A&E so I went into A&E we stayed there me and Sharon literally all day and uh, they give me an ECG they said that I think we're gonna need to give you intravenous drip antibiotics to get this in your system 
pretty rapidly because I won't win. And um, they do that in the waiting room, believe it or not. So I was among, well, I wasn't the only one being treated in the waiting room. Although I will say that the uh, the staff, I, I had every test going. They said they was going to give me uh, blood tests over and above the normal blood tests they normally give me. And then they come back after hours. I was in there for seven or eight hours in in the in the uh, A and E waiting room being treated. And uh, they come back and said we're going to need to send you for a CAT scan. So anyway, I had that done. Went back, come back. All the results come in. I had the uh, intravenous antibiotics all day, and uh, they said we've got your results back from your CAT scan. They said I said well, why did I have a CAT scan? They said well. We thought you might have had kidney stones because you had blood in your urine. I said, no, I didn't. I showed that the sample that I get. I said, there was no blood in that. They said, no, there was blood in it. So obviously it was micro. So they said, as a result of that, we thought you had might have had kidney stones or whatever, but they said, all my abdomen's all clear, everything. So I don't know what the extra blood tests were they done. They give me a full, full going over, you could say. Anyway, they said we're going to give you some antibiotics now, some strong antibiotics to take <coughs> for you to take home. But they didn't have them in stock there, so we've had to go out this morning, me and Sharon, and uh, get. Home. We got in about nine o'clock last night, so it was a very, very long day. And uh, anyway, so I've just been laying down. All I've been getting up, and now I'm still going tiny little drops of wee. But I was up about 10 times last night and it literally just trickles out. So they, they, they said, you've obviously got a, u a urinary tract infection or whatever. So, uh, yeah, so Christmas Day and Boxing Day, that's how we treated, that's how it treated us in our house. And uh, shower's been fantastic. Oh, hello, someone at the door, can't be posed, but not this time of day. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So it's not how we planned it, but I've got the antibiotics now, but I'm still literally going little dribbles. Where you get the urgency to go, you you go and then nothing comes out, virtually nothing comes out. That should improve obviously with the uh, antibiotics clear, sort of clearing the infection, I suppose. And obviously tubes are swollen or whatever, I don't know. But uh, anyway, don't want to make it more depressing for you. It just shows you how life can throw a curveball at you. I, I normally do the bubble and squeak on a boxing day, and that's my speciality, but I didn't get a chance to do it. And lucky enough, Sharon just cooked it now. And I had a little bit, I didn't eat a lot at all, and an egg on top of it. I'm now recovering. I've just got up from bed again. We got up at sort of eight o'clock this morning, went out and got the antibiotics, come back, and that sort of knackered me out. So I thought I felt a bit better, but. Obviously, you can't push yourself when you're not well, and obviously my body's not well. But I was so pleased to see my pulse had come down from 175 over 115, which it was yesterday. And when I had the intravenous drip, it had come down to 119 over 82, I think it was, which is normal. Pulse was still over 100, though. Anyway, I won't bore you anymore. That's it, that's how we are. I'm just recovering now, so if you don't see a video within the next week, it's obviously because I'm still recovering. Shall where are you? Can you Sharon's in? worn out by it all. Yeah. She's been looking after her husband. She sat with me all the time through the... Uh... I haven't peeled his boiled eggs for him last night. I had two boiled eggs last night. I thought I'd better get some protein in me, so... Well, this is a Christmas to remember it with me brother. Did you tell him about my brother? Yeah, we told him that yesterday, didn't we? So the three things we've had over the Christmas, I'm sure we told him yesterday. No, we didn't do no video in yesterday. No, the day before. Well, before I went to the hospital, I'm sure we said that your brother broke, uh, dislocated his shoulder. I and fraud it, and in the she bank. She had fraud yeah. at the bank when they tried. Yeah, we did tell him yeah, that yes. did, yeah. early on in this video, that'll be, folks. And then me with this now. So anyway, folks, we'd just like to thank you all so much for enjoying our videos enjoying our channel over the last year and all you new subscribers but don't forget if you're not subscribed just hit that subscribe button it helps us yeah. and also hit the thumbs up that also helps us too so but we'll merry see Merry christmas we'll, yeah merry christmas yeah we'll see you again i don't know when it will be but i've got to get better first obviously and uh 
we'll catch you in our next video so thanks very much uh, and happy christmas folks happy new year Which healthy happy new year bye for now bye